Hello and welcome to another tutorial here on NoiseJunkies.net. In this tutorial, we'll take a look at how to create a bullet in Cinema 4D. But before I begin the tutorial, here goes some background information. Well, first off, I'm a little bit sick, so my voice is gonna be a little bit weird, but hopefully nothing too annoying. Now, about the tutorial series, I'm making this tutorial series together with Nahuel here from Naho VFX and this guy you know, he's very very talented in After Effects and 3ds Max if you don't already know him and I've always liked his tutorials but really what just completely blew my mind was how genius he is in 3ds Max with his tutorial The Truck Explosion and he covers the uh, explosions, film effects, modeling amongst other stuff. So we just had this idea of making a, a combo tutorial series between you know his 3ds Max skills and my Cinema 4D skills into something that can be translated to both applications and you know just something easy and concise. And there were several things that came to our mind but the best one we thought was the bullet because there are several ways and techniques to make it and the textures can you know vary from a range of possibilities. Now you might be aware that there are many many tutorials covering bullet design for all applications. There's a product from Andrew Kramer for example called The Bullet and it teaches how to create one in Blender, Max and Cinema 4D. The thing though is that he uses image reference C and it's really cool because he covers you know After Effects compositing and all the images and Image referencing is basically you just get a, a, an image and you just apply here. So you just copy the coordinates with splines to have somewhat a similar look. And that's a really cool technique, it's the standard technique, but we thought to make something different, it would just work with splines and you know simple materials. And I believe now while I was covering some really cool rusty materials. I'll make something more reflective and metallic. Well, so it's time to get started and I'll just go to File, New, and start to rock here. So let's get started on our model here. And this first part is going to cover modeling and we'll start right away. Now on the front panel view, we'll just select the display. And we're going to be working here with our model. So you just select any point here to be your starting point, and we'll try to model half of a bullet. And you just select these points here, and then here, and you kind of have half of a bullet. And now the select tool can just try to align this so it's kind of more pointy like this and I have a bullet so what you need to do now is to come to the nerves here it's like lath nerves and now I can just drag the spline inside the lath nerves and you can see something's just not right and it's not right because we're working on the front view so in the front view it looks like it's pretty normal but here, it doesn't. So you just come to the spline, coordinates, and just set this to 90. So now you have bullet model here, which we also need to work a little bit on. So the first thing we need to work on that I can see is, you know, the beginning. It's too, it's too normal and we need to kind of open it like this and make it something like this where it's not completely round it has somehow an entrance which we're gonna be covering we're gonna be covering this cause this looks like a hole or something but let me just rotate this not the spline the, the nerves like this here so we can kind of see it better 
we need to make this you know a little more pointy here in this spline and but we also don't want to exaggerate doing something like this very obvious reasons so something like this would probably work for us and now on the back you click on, on the last spline here the last point and try to push it back just so you have something like this And then see if you have another point here. I don't think we do. So basically, you're trying to give a a less normal shape, something that looks, you know, a little more interesting than just a half pill. And we don't really need to worry a lot about what, uh, about you know the design, the modeling, because the texture is what's gonna make the trick. But pretty much we're gonna come to this plot with the primitives now and select tube. So now I'll just drag it here and rotate and we're gonna just be covering, filling this empty spot here. Something like this. And you can also use the help of you know the other stuff you have the top view for example will help you just align this correctly and something like this you can increase the size a little bit Kind of okay, yeah. And we're gonna actually apply different materials for them later in the materials section. But you know, you can play around with the with the spline to make this bigger or not. I'll just leave like this, you know, to simplify our model. But yeah, now you're probably ready for part two of the tutorial, in which we're gonna be texturing but you know in the render we can see there's a, a small problem here which we have to fix right now and we can just try to make this bigger and rotate it a little bit because that that's what the problem looks like it's not well rotated and that's better so now you're probably ready for the mod the texturing part and I'll see you on that part of the tutorial.